Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is draw debug cylinder? Let's go and run through this example. We'll hit play and well, we get a cylinder. We get a nice pink cylinder with a set number of sides. It's basically in the same direction, Z up as my player, and it's pink. And that's our debug cylinder. The debug cylinder node by default comes like this. And we'll go ahead and explain all the options. We have a start and an end. These are pretty simple. Start, where is it starting at? End, where is it ending at? And this basically determines the direction. In the case of my example, I'm starting at the bottom of this cylinder, which is going to be the top of that little cube there in the middle, and I'm going up Z100. Of course, I can have it in any other direction. I could do, for example, Y of 150, well, let's go with 120, and hit play, and now you'll see it's along the Y axis, 120 units. If we wanted to go the other direction, away from me, for example, it would be along the X axis. We'll hit play, and it'll go ahead. These are world coordinate systems in the world. So our start and end will be world positioning. Let me turn this back to vertical. Let's go with vertical 150. And the next option we have is radius or how round it is. My cube here is 100 units. This is a 100 radius cylinder, which means it's gonna be twice as wide as my cube basically. Remember the radius is the half distance. So if we did something like 50, now we're gonna get a cylinder that is as round as my square. Next option is our line color. It can of course be any color you want. It's just a simple color. Then we have the duration. This is how long in seconds it persists on the screen. Right now I have it set to zero, which means it's one frame, which is why we're seeing it because I'm drawing on a tick. If I wanted it, for example, to be drawn for a certain duration, I just type in the amount of seconds. So I could go two and hit play and after two seconds, my cylinder would disappear. Thickness is how thick each line is. By default, it's going to be zero and it's going to be super duper skinny and it's even going to disappear when we get super close. Changing it to something more thicker, maybe two, three, four, five, gives us a much more defined line width and it makes it much easier to see. And that's it. That is our draw debug cylinder. It's useful if you need to draw a cylinder but you want it to be in debug. Um, something like your character could possibly re be represented by this. Character is more of a capsule, but if you don't care about the top and the bottom, cylinder is useful. It's also useful if you need to check certain collision, like if you have a non-square um, collision, cylinders are useful. Now what I mean by that is we could use a box, but one issue here is we check out our segments and we drop it to zero. Well, you can't have a cylinder with zero segments. It's not going to work. So we get this instead. Anything between 0 and 4 will give us back 4. Anything above that, for example, 5, gives us back this. So it's useful if we need to get an odd-shaped item for debugging purposes. So to wrap it up, start is where it starts, end is the end point, and it basically connects a line between these two, draws a cylinder with a radius, whatever we've defined, and with how many however many segments or edges, whatever color we want. The duration is how long it persists in seconds, zero being one frame, and the thickness is how thick each line is.